Friday was quarter-finals day at the Barcelona Open Bank Sabadell, and with four of the top eight seeds in action, there were some exciting matches in store for the fans making their way to the Real Tennis Club. David Ferrer has reached the last four in Barcelona for the last three years, and in order to do so once again, he had to overcome the challenge of the young Brazilian, Thomas Bellucci. The eighth seed won their only previous encounter in Acapulco a couple of months ago, but it looked as if Bellucci had learned from that defeat as he took the game to the Spaniard early on. It's a nice point. The hustle from the Spaniard, but Bellucci was always in control. But Ferrer weathered the early storm and soon began to find his stride. Perfect. Picks him off at the net. There's the break. The Spaniard, the first to strike. One break was all Ferrer needed to take the opener, and from then on, he didn't look back. Dominating now. Playing some really good tennis. Beautiful. What a forehand. Oh, oh some good tennis to wrap it up. Ferrer puts his spot in the semi finals, his fourth successive semi final here in Barcelona. Yeah, of course, no. I'm very happy uh, because it's a, a tournament special for me. I like a lot place here in, in Barcelona. In, it's the, the fourth time here in, with the, the semi-finals. No? I did two, two finals, two semi-finals now, and I will try to do my best for to, to, to come back to the final. Ferrer will now play Fernando Vadasco in an all-Spanish semi-final after the fifth seed saw off the challenge of Latvia's Ernst Gulbis in straight sets. Gulbis had not lost a set coming into this match, but looked out of his depth as Vadasco cruised through the opening set 6-2. Beautiful shots. What a way to finish. A very solid set of tennis. The second set proved to be much tougher for the Spaniard, as Gulbis put up a valiant effort to try and take the match to a decider. What a rally. So many phenomenal gets there from both players. But all of his efforts proved to be in vain, as just shy of the two hour mark, Vadasco prevailed in the tiebreak to set up a semi final clash with his compatriot. A little bit of a struggle in the end. Gets the job done. That's the most important thing. Started brightly. Gulbis was struggling in the opening set. Really did battle back well in the second. It's Vadasco who eventually prevails. Yeah, very happy to, to, to beat Gulbis today, to be in the semis for the first time. And, uh, you know, also happy. To be there in the second set was really tough with five fall, a uh, really hard game with few break points and uh, you know I I shaved finally I was uh, I, th I think tough mentally over there and uh, I did it so I'm really happy to be in semis. Next up, Sweden's Robin Sodling joined the two Spaniards in the last four with a straightforward victory over Argentina's Eduardo Schwank. It was the South American's 24th birthday, but Sodling was not in a giving mood as he broke twice on his way to taking the opener 6-2. And the second set mirrored the first. One hour and seven minutes was all the second seed needed to wrap up a convincing victory. So, uh, Very impressive. 
and he's delighted with his performance, so he should be. He's a tricky customer, Eduardo Schwankong, a clay court, but he outclassed him in every department. Books his place in the semis, his fourth semi-final of 2010 for Robin Sodling. The birthday to forget for Schwank. Sodling goes through 6-2, 6-3. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, I think I uh, I played pretty well today. Uh, it was a, a quick match and uh, conditions were a little bit different. Uh, it was pretty cold today and, and, and a little bit heavy, but overall I think I did a pretty good match. The last quarter-final was between third seed Joe Wilfred Songa and 21-year-old Dutchman Timo de Backer. De Backer had seen off seventh seed Juan Carlos Ferreira in the previous round and once again showed he is an accomplished clay court player as he seized control of the opening set. Just did enough. Another beautiful point from the Dutchman. Oh. And there is the first set. Well, very impressive stuff from Timo de Backer so far tonight. Songa had come from a set down in the previous round and quickly set about trying to do the same in the second set of this match. Oh, another beauty. This time, he wraps it up. It's a good set of tennis for the Frenchman. A good response after losing the first set. The decider proved to be a tense affair, with both players having chances to seize the initiative. But as the rain started to fall, it was De Backer who began to look the more likely winner. Oh, that's too good. Brilliant. Look at the spin on this drop shot. Look at the cut he gets down the back of the ball. And watch how it holds up. Songa, absolutely no chance. Fabulous. Songa saved two match points in the eighth game, but the Dutchman was not about to let a chance of his first ever victory over a top ten player slip away. He's done it. De Backer serves up the shot of the week here in Barcelona. He's put out the third seed, Joe Wilfred Songa, the day after beating Juan Carlos Ferreira. That's mighty impressive effort. Nice to see the respect from the Frenchman. Despite the conditions, an enthralling contest. What a victory for this young man, 21 years old, and into the semi-finals. De Backer comes through 6-4, 3-6, 6-3.